but we have Lindsey Graham on Sunday saying that uh, I believe a decision will be imminent here when we get back to Washington. The administration will start training Ukrainian pilots on the F-16. What is Lindsey doing here? I, I, I truly don't know. I mean, he's he's been a, a puzzle uh, for a long time. But, it, I mean, if anything, you can say at least he's consistent in, in <laughs> always being a pro-war kind of guy. Ah. Uh, but, I mean, he unfortunately, he just really has no idea what he's talking about and what any of that means. Because, I mean, even Americans, after after a person is trained to be a pilot, which which can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months, then they start a full year of training with the F-16 by itself. That's wow. how far, just to enable them to enter into the Air Force to be a pilot. Then wow. your real training begins. And the idea that we're going to train up, you know, pilots for the F-16 in, in Ukraine, anything close, less than a year is just nuts. Or you just send them out there to die quicker. And, and look, here's the other thing that no one seems to understand. Just adding an F-16 doesn't change the fact that they can't fly the planes they have right now very effectively ah. because of the air defense of the Russians, which can shoot down an F-16 just as well as it can shoot down a MiG-29. What would well, the Russians use the same? What are they? Are they still called SAMs? Yeah, 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 they are. And they can fire up to 45,000 feet? Yeah, a lot of, especially their S-400 uh, and maybe even the S-500 that may be coming online soon. I mean, they've gained they're even the S-300s for that matter. Uh, the older stuff is, is still very, very dangerous, and they've got lots of them. I mean, they have they have like thousands of different kinds of of air defense capabilities, as opposed to Ukraine, which just has a handful here. They they are still quite robust in the anti air position, which is why you don't see Ukraine flying the jets they have. Well, that's what worries me is that when we hear about giving them F sixteens, we know they're not going to be able to fly them in combat for a few years. It reminds me of the. Um, Russian pilots who were flying North Vietnamese MiGs during Vietnam without us supposedly t knowing about it, but they were Russian pilots. Right. We all knew about it after the war, so it was kind of well reported. I have a terrible fear that we're going to have U.S. pilots in action. In, in well, there's already lots of lots of at least claims uh, by some on the Russian side that many, and actually even on the Ukrainian side some reports that many of the Western uh, items are manned and, and uh, if not piloted, certainly operated by uh, Western people, some of whom are allegedly not on active duty, but they're still operating them in there. Uh, even some of the pilots are, are reported to be Western uh, military pilots who are no longer on active duty or something. Uh, but you're talking about like the, the high Mars systems and, and some of the other high tech uh, operate additions we have and we're going to wonder with the patriot system when it eventually shows up who's going to actually be manning that uh those are open questions and and you know it's not unreasonable to suggest that some westerners are, are actually participating